welcome back to Philly Swiss. I have a special guest with me here, and this is Snickers. Less than lively, I guess, today. Snickers, you don't want to show yourself, it's your video. Welcome back to another Snickers video. He officially turned one year old, and he had himself a nice little birthday party with his fellow doggos. So, we're no longer a pupper. You're a doggo! Oh, he's always been a doggo. But now he's a one year old dog. He can't be a puppy anymore. Right? Let me show you the There you are. See? So, if you don't know yet from our previous videos, Snickers is a Cairn Terrier. Sort of like a cousin of the Westie, the Scottish Terrier, all of that stuff. Yeah, sit on the pillow. That, that makes perfect sense. So Snickers isn't usually allowed in the studio, but today is an exception because he's my special guest. So in this video, I'll be covering a little special recipe that I made for his birthday cake. And uh, very simple, very easy. I made it with my friend who also has a dog, one of the guests of the birthday. And you will also be seeing how we actually celebrated the birthday itself. So I'm not gonna keep you waiting, let's get started. For the homemade birthday dog cupcakes, you will need... For the method, preheat the oven at 220 degrees Celsius. Add a layer of finely ground dried puppy food to the bottom of each muffin cup and in a mixing bowl, mix together the slightly ground dried puppy food and the ground beef. Add the mixture to the cups and press so that they fit tightly into each cup and avoid crumbling when removed. Slice the raw carrot into flat circles and set aside to be used for garnishing later. Once done baking, take the muffin tray out and leave to cool for about 5 minutes. Add a dollop or a tablespoon of parfait on each cupcake and spread with a knife to cover the top like you would icing for a human cupcake. Garnish with carrots and dog biscuits as I have here in the video or with other toppings that your doggo likes, which could be blueberries, banana, apples, or other special treats. Planning-wise, my friend and her dog came over to our place first to assist me in baking the cupcakes. Chino and Snickers started to play with the interactive toys. If you haven't seen them before or you have no idea what they are, do check out my previous dog videos so that you'll have a glimpse of what it is and what do we put inside. So here we tried to see how long it would take Chino to figure out how to get the treats out of the toy, but since Snickers knew his toys well enough, he was showing off. When Ero came, we had him meet Snickers first. Turns out they both have the cautious characteristic, meaning they wait and stare at the bigger doggo in front of them and measure the situation if they should come forward or not. Snickers was already excited and wanted to come close, but Aero was still in his safe zone and going away. When we brought Chino out to meet him, Chino couldn't bear being away and really wanted to come up close to meet Aero as well. It was just such a cute sight to see and watch them interact with each other. You'll see later in the video at the dog park that he'd start warming up to the rest of the doggos. Because of Rona, we couldn't have too many people at the dog park simply to ensure that there was enough space to keep our distances. We invited our fellow dog parent friends, and we even got a chance to finally meet Snickers' half-brother, Aero. They have the same father wherein Aero definitely got his fur color from, but Snickers gets his more from his mom, and maybe his butt fur was from his dad. We organized that the celebration could take place when no other dog owners will be around, 
and we had a nice light picnic for a few hours so that the dogs can get to know each other, play, and chill out as we did. It was also Eros' first socialization experience at the dog park, and as expected, he eventually warmed up to the other dogs, and it didn't take a lot until he was fast asleep next to his dog dad. I really can't imagine Snickers used to be that small. When we first took him home from the breeder, it was really a fun day, and we'll definitely need to do this again. Welcome back to my studio. So now it is the unboxing part. Now I know this is the first time you'll be seeing me unbox it live, but I thought this time I'd share it with you because now that Snickers is part of the video, might as well see it live so that you can see how he reacts to it. Don't run with scissors, huh? No. So, what I don't normally show you when I unbox the video is my struggle to open this box. Not that I'm complaining, I'm actually really happy that it's really sealed so well that no one can possibly do anything <laughs> in order to uh, try and open it without permission. So, I managed to get it. I think maybe I lost a couple of nails now. No worries, it's all for the good of my baby. Oh. You see, he starts to get excited. Someone wants to see what he's getting. So, when I open the box, like usual, it has a card. Oh my god, and there's another card. And look at that. There's also a little hat. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. So, anyone who wants 10% discount from... What is this? Mims. Oh my goodness. If only I got this before I started baking his cake. I would have done this already. So Mims, as it looks like, uh, let me just read it from here. Mims is a complete wet food that will delight even the most fussy of dogs. These delicious recipes are prepared using human-grade ingredients. Fresh meat and vegetables are vacuum sealed and simmered at low temperatures to preserve all the goodness and to enhance the taste. There is no added water, just 100% healthy food that every dog deserves. And actually use my 10% discount. So, as always, there is a card with his picture on it. And this picture is taken from uh, his Instagram post when we were in Freiburg and Breisgau. If you haven't seen that video yet, do click somewhere on the card that will appear above my head and uh, go watch that video. So it says, Hi Snickers, we've heard this month is an extra special month because it's your birthday. We've included a few things to help you celebrate your birthday in style. We hope you love them. As this month's theme is fun in the sun, we've also included a cool shark toy I'm looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> that you can soak in water and freeze for, for those super hot days. Oh my goodness, we are going to try this out, but not in this video. I think I'll make a separate one and post it on TikTok. Don't forget to follow us there if you haven't already. The crunching sound is great and it really helps to keep your cool. I hope so because it's been really hot these days, isn't it? We can't wait to see your pictures and hear your comments. Here's wishing you have a month packed full of zoomies, snacks, and snoozes. Um, I'll give credit to Snickers. He hasn't had the zoomies since, I don't know, a couple of months now. It was cute at the beginning, <laughs> and it was just really fascinating later on. And eventually, we started to think, Okay, um, we're kind of tired of the zoomies, but it has to happen. You just gotta let it happen. He will tire himself out no matter what. Wolves and Belly Strokes, the Wolf Club team. Thank you, Wolf Club team. We always love you, and I think it will be really difficult to get tired of you. So, apart from that card, there is also this mini card, a birthday card. And it says, Happy birthday, it's party time. Oh, so cute. 
Happy birthday, Snickers. Wolves of Love, the Wolf Club. It is so cute. I know you can't really see it right now, so I will maybe find a way to get that little card on the screen as a zoom in. Oh, Snickers, look at that. You have a little card. And it also came with a party hat. Maybe we can put it on you. The string, I think, maybe is a little too long. But we will give it a try. I can wear it though. You know. Besides, just a little bit of a style. So, going back to the box. Now, there's always this wonderful packaging. They are, I guess you could say, recyclable, even with the sticker. I always feel bad to have to rip it because I actually like these packaging. Oh my goodness! Oh, you have lots of cool stuff here, mister. So this is the shark they were talking about. It's really cute. <laughs> it's almost like ice cream in, in form, I guess. But it's really like a shark. It's so interesting. Um, okay, it's called the Chill Out Cool Soap, uh, Soap Shark. Keeps your dog feeling cool during summertime play. Soak and freeze. Alright, so we have a tub. Maybe I can set up a nice little tiny bath and have the shark swimming in it. Uh, I'll just make sure that it is already been frozen with water inside the freezer. So, hmm. Okay, alright. Very nice. It looks sturdy. So even without the water, I think you will just be happy to play with it, especially since it's a new toy. Alright, and here's another, another stuffed toy. So, we have... Oh, it's not just a stuffed toy, it's actually a rope toy. Let me just get this out without destroying it. It's hard! Oh, that required power. So... Now this little thing is gone. It's a rope! Oh, it has the plastic sound. He loves that. He loves to play with like... <laughs> it's also a squeaky toy! So it has the plastic sound like the other toys that we've gotten him because for some reason, anything that has the plastic sound has some kind of trigger <laughs> for dogs. And there's a squeaker. I hope you don't destroy this one anytime soon. So uh, it's it's like a, it's a birthday balloon. It even says happy birthday. And this is from Kong. Oh, so cute. It squeaks. Anything anything else special to read? Festive fetch toy for healthy active play. Long rope sparks shaking instincts. I guess that's what the shrinking instinct is. Uh, crinkles and squeaks to entice play. Uh huh. And someone wants to play with it. Oh, do you like that already? Do you want to take it? Huh? Do you want to take it? Oh. All right. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Do you want to play with it? Let mommy take this very difficult tag off. All right. Here we go. You want to play with it? You wanna play with it? You wanna come up here? Here. Okay, here you go. Here. Here you go. Go on. Take it. Okay. Come here. Ah! Good boy. <laughs> so while he's playing with that toy, I'm gonna continue discovering what we have here. <laughs> Oop. That was funny. So this is what made me laugh immediately when I opened the box. Um, it looked like a champagne bottle. And basically it's called Woof and Brew <laughs> by Champot. So exquisite refreshment for cats and dogs. Hmm, non-alcoholic, very good. Healthy herbal infusion. Well, someone's even healthier than mommy. I mean, I have my homemade ice green tea, no ice, <laughs> but this one is the next level. Uh, created with veterinary experts, grape-free, and made using 100% natural herbs. 
brought to you from award-winning Wolf and Brew. Champaws is a decadent, non-alcoholic herbal infusion that offers loved pets both substance and style. Yeah, there's enough style in this one. Live well, be happy, you'll love. So, as usual, we have lovely treats. And this one over here is called Duck Gold Soft Sticks. Yep. He likes these like, oh, okay, okay, you want your toy, you want your toy, I get it. Here, enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I'm running out of space here. Um, so it's 100% natural, gluten-free, and I could technically open it now and give it to him, but since he's enjoying his toy, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'll just show you in one of our TikTok posts. And uh, I like everything that has to do with treats from the Wolf Club because the uh, producers of all of these treats, so this one for example is by Antos, um, they have this nice seal where you can just like zip it back. So this one is very nice and he likes duck flavored treats. So that's actually really good. It's a premium quality dog chew rich in protein. What's our next one? This is from Perfect Finest Himalayan Cheese Treats. Grain-free, 100% natural human grain. And they look very interesting like cheese blocks. And they're not heavy like how we would eat it. But they're nice puff bars. There we go. They're puff bars and for all dog sizes. Wow, it's rich in natural protein, calcium, and omega-3. <laughs> we have something really big at the bottom of the box. And this looks so cute. I saw this on the Wolf, Club, uh, the Wolf Club's website and I've been so curious but I wasn't sure if I would get it yet anytime soon. Although this one would have been really good as well for his birthday cake. <laughs> it is called Paw Bakes Bakies. So I guess it comes with two different recipes for one is uh what is this? <laughs> uh doggy cupcake baking kit, peanut butter flavor with icing. It makes six um cupcakes or oh, yeah, six cupcakes and then doggy biscuit baking kit. Again, with peanut butter and honey flavor, and it makes 10 large dog bone shaped biscuits. So, and it comes with a spoon, a wooden spoon for baking. Oh my goodness. Well, technically, you could actually gift this to someone else because they have this like little card too from. No, we keep this for ourselves because <laughs> we want to make some more of these lovely dog treats homemade dog treats so it comes with a doggy biscuit baking kit one doggy cupcake baking kit and one wooden baking spoon yep as i mentioned earlier already let's see mm -hmm. so for the for the biscuits it comes with a bone shaped cutter or is it just one? Bone shaped cutter, peanut butter and honey biscuit mix, uh, preparation instructions, and I would need a grease proof baking tray, rolling pin, and five tablespoons of warm water. I think I have all of those. Um, and then in the cupcake kit, uh, it comes with cupcake cases peanut butter cupcake mix, dog safe chocolate drops for icing, preparation instructions. I was just, the first time I got uh, dog chocolate for, for Snickers in one of the boxes, I was so happy. Kevin was like, oh my god, it was so surprising to find a dog chocolate bar in there. And no, it wasn't for us. It wouldn't have been tasty <laughs> for us. Um, you will need bun tray okay one medium egg one tablespoon vegetable oil three tablespoons water 
well i will check on the bun tray and uh, otherwise let's just open it quickly so that we can actually see what's inside i don't really want to open this and destroy the packaging but at the same time i don't want to hoard packaging <laughs> we have uh, a lot of stuff already at home oh he just found his ball that was left in here yeah if you hear something it's just him uh but they have their story here so let me just get to that quickly our story so far take three best friends okay mix in a love for pets a flair for baking and a vision to create wholesome delicious treats with no added nonsense i like that add in many long days lots of sleepless nights and finally that all-important approval from our treasured pets oh Paw Bakes Bakies are award-winning, bake your own pet treat kits, fun for all the family. We are so excited for you to get baking and hope that you enjoy making something extra special for your pets, just as much as we do. Love, Chloe, Lauren, and Jacqueline. P.S. Take a peek at our ingredients list, all recognizable and nothing nasty. Yes, it's true, <laughs> the list is in here. And if I really wanted to check each and every one, I don't think I would really need to do a lot of research because they're quite easy to, to identify. I mean, if it says wholemeal wheat flour, good. Spelt flour, peanut butter powder, I mean, those are like self-explanatory. And everything else, you know, it's as I mentioned. And then the carton is cardboard, widely recycled, no problem. It just goes to our cardboard box. Need to dismantle this. And they are also on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So um, if you want to check Paul Bates out, just look up their brand on those social media sites I mentioned. And let's get opening this freaking box. I'm too excited, aren't you? No, because it's not yet a treat. <gasps> oh, look at that. So here's the one for the dog biscuit. Put that here first, and then let's get the other one. Where is it? Come out. Ah. Yes. Come, come, come. Yes, I got it. I got it out. And this is the one for the cupcake. They look so cute! Alright, now we're gonna have to find a way to release the spoon. So, just do it in this way. Ha! Huh. I can be smart. So, and it even has paw bakes on the spoon. So it says, paw bakes, bake your own pet treats. Yes, I will and I will use this spoon for it. <laughs> so, let's open the doggy cupcake baking kit. Okay, the method is here anyway at the back of the box, so that's great. And it immediately tells you, just add one egg, vegetable oil, and water. Okay, I can get that, no problem. Here's the peanut butter cupcake mix. The chocolate drops for dogs. uh-huh and there's a lot of the mold or the how did they call it and you have enough cupcake cases to make an entire batch thank you thank you thank you let me just put that back montessori way yes i was brought up in a montessori school and one of the things i've learned is to put the things back where they belong oftentimes so next one doggy biscuit baking kit let's open this one can you tell i'm having a hard time opening boxes because i don't really want to destroy them even though i know later we're going to be destroying them just for the purpose of recycling anyway so peanut butter honey biscuit mix And here's the cutter, the dog bone shape. Is it sharp? I'm not gonna let you touch it. 
All right, I think we've opened. It's not even a toy. You're not gonna touch this, but you're gonna eat this at some point, huh? We're gonna make it into a nice, nice batch of fresh cookies. biscuits. Sorry, biscuits. All right. Well, that's great. We've emptied out now the whole box. It's now officially empty. And I have like a lot of this to actually get rid of. And my black tights are now fitted with white spots. And I think Snickers is very happy and looks forward to try out his wonderful treats. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you liked this uh, method or style of unboxing, uh, do let me know in the comments down below because then I'll just continue to do it in this manner or if you prefer that I don't talk at all I don't talk about anything and you just like to see a montage of uh, me taking out every single item from the box No problem. I can always revert back to that one um, I hope you guys um, found this helpful and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and click the notification bell if you want to be notified for future videos and as always I'll see you next time and share it